Welcome back everybody to Rulebook Rundown. I'm Alan Paquette and today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing for Now or Never. A uh, new game had just shown up from Ryan Lockett and Red Raven Games. It is quite pretty and quite heavy as one would expect from uh, Ryan Lockett. Maybe not as much the heavy but the pretty for sure. Uh, so let's dive in here and see all of the fun goodies Okay, so we have our standard rule book here with all of our neat things in it. Story mode and reminder stuff on the back. Always like it for that sort of thing. Um, oh. We've got the ad for the foreteller stuff. I need to try to get involved with them um, all right and then campaign score sheet that will definitely be copied to not be written on will we play four campaigns maybe not but yeah gotta save the stuff all the time all right so we have our story books for the story mode wow these are a lot thicker than I was expecting uh, so there are six chapters for these and these story books are basically what you read um, and they are character specific for the given chapter that you're on. Uh, so we won't show any of that, but um, that'll be where you read from. And if you don't like reading aloud, that's where that foreteller app comes in handy. Uh, so those are those. We've got the standy things, of course. We've got some cards here. Let's scope them out. And they're what, artifact? Quest cards. Okay. So these are the basic and advanced and artifact quest cards. So this will be kind of where you're trying to get to and like what it costs to do and then the ability and then those are going to be your victory points there. So you know, a lot of different places that you can go. Uh, I would imagine it fits a similar formula to um, near and far with like the more advanced ones are going to give you a better benefit, but are harder to do. Uh, so that's pretty neat things there. And this looks like just more cards. Let's see. So the, the player aids on the back have a monster health bar, so you can keep track when you are fighting the monsters with those on the back of the player aids. Um, and then, oh yeah, it's two two player aids per person. So turn structure and then the production phase thing there. Uh, you have your AI solo deck there, and then a few more of the artifacts. Just going to different places, doing different things. Coming back to your city and trying to... Uh, Trying to take it back over and rebuild. Uh, for pre-ordering the game, it came with metal coins. I'll take a quick gander at these because I'm pretty sure these are amazing. So these are the single ones here. Nice metal. There's quite a few of them too. And the nice gold coins. They also have hash marks on them. So there are ten hash marks on the gold, five on these, and then ones on the ones. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like those a lot. Alright, player boards. Uh, so we have Namal, the advanced robot, robo cat, raising her young daughter. That's probably gonna be me every time. Uh, Halia is a wandering warrior with a sentient sword. It's pretty cool. Uh, Marklin, is a magician scholar searching for secrets of the past. Definitely not Peter Dinklage. Uh, and then Zake, geomancer seeking a way to escape his a prophesized doom. Uh, so here we have different attacks for them, which can be upgraded as we go along. Um, your mana limit for your various uh, abilities that are going to use mana, and your health at the bottom, and then your... Um, they're not advisors and specialists. And then like your movement actions and stuff. So that's pretty.
pretty neat. Backs are all the same and beautiful, of course. Uh, then each person gets their own, um, like, city-scape thing. Uh, and this is where you're going to be building your city all individually. And you have the underground and above-ground thing. And then you get various bonuses for covering up things, and then having sets gets you points at the end. A lot of engine building stuff. Down here will be the tracker for your various resources, which we'll probably uncover pretty soon. So there are four of those bad boys. Set those up there. Uh, there's also one market board. Uh, I think this one's double-sided. Yeah, so if you play story mode, then you use the reputation at the bottom for additional points, very similar to near and far. Uh, and then, you know, you can exchange stuff, sell your goods for money instead of using them for quests. There will be various upgrades and, uh, like, other mini specials. I don't know what they're called. They're the small uh, villagers that have, like, a one-time small use. And then these will be where you get some of your upgrades and your turn tracker for six turns for the game. Uh, yeah, it's a communal thing that. Here we go. Here's what I was wanting to see. Oh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do this. All right, because this board <laughs> is ginormous. <laughs> All right, so everybody, people are starting in the monument and then kind of expanding out in either direction to scope out adventures and build things and stuff. That's super cool be interesting how to get everybody around the table for this with all the player boards and stuff. And then on the back side is an underground map uh, with similar types of stuff as one would expect. Boom. Neat. Alright, so back in here we've got the basic D4s here. And a lot of the, this is going to be using your abilities, uh, depending on what you roll. That's the ability you get. So that's pretty good. These things here. All right, so we have our mana tokens, our little diamonds. We've got the um, like action movement bits. And we've got. Uh, these are going to be the resources that are on the bottom of the character boards. Um, so everybody will get one, and then you keep track of how many you're at. So we have, like, the shells, the knowledge is the books. Uh, we have our health and demon bottled demons. That's pretty neat. Uh, round tracker there as well. And then there's... Uh, just crystals and tools for those resources as well. All right, that's it for that. And now the stuff that makes it heavy. Let's go through that. So we have our specialists and then some of the gear that we can get, uh, the coins that are still really cool. Obviously not as cool as the metal ones, but still still really neat and then uh, a bunch of monsters we've got some experience tokens these are search tokens that all are um like getting a coin and rolling a die uh the villagers that give you the one-time benefit of whatever the resource is that's pretty cool this is basically the same thing here with just different specialists different things uh, you can upgrade your attacks depending on your character they each have their own special upgrades for their stuff there's a tank that's cool and I think these are probably mostly gonna be the same for a lot of these man love the artwork though these are the the character standees that'll be used in the clips to help you around the board. There's an airship, that's cool. I like that. Um Yeah. Pig. <laughs> and then our buildings. So 
there are four sets of the buildings. I think there's like 20 buildings each. Uh, yeah, everybody gets the same buildings, but they're all randomly distributed um, at the start in a big grid, like a, a four by five grid. And then when you start building, you have to build one on the outside. And then when you build from there, you have to build one that's adjacent to the one that you've already done. So with everybody having a random layout and then having to build kind of separately, it's going to make it quite unique and interesting. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, then we got the reputation markers. And these are probably all going to be the same. And some random locations. And that's it. Awesome. So that is all of the stuff that makes this box quite heavy <laughs> for the third entry in the Asrium series of near and or er, above and below, near and far, and finally now or never. So thank you everybody for sticking with me and scoping it out, uh, and we will catch you in the next one. If you are looking for other fun, silly content, check it out right here. Until next time, though, keep on gaming.